Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Saturday. It's Garden Tool Saturday. Yay! And we're so happy you're here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, we'd love for you to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our daily videos. So guys, today, like Allison said, is Garden Tool Saturday. And today we wanted to tell you about pitchforks. A pitchfork is a tool that we have to have in our garden tool collection. As you know, if you've been watching the last few Saturdays, we've been highlighting tools that we can't live without. And a pitchfork is definitely one of them. You can use them for all sorts of things around your garden and, and today we're going to talk to you about them and show you what they're good for in your garden. So guys, here is our pitchfork. You can now, see it's got these little guys on here, these little spikes or prongs, really they're there. called tines. And this is a five tined pitchfork. Now they come in different numbers of tines and some will have up to like 10 or 12 of these, but they're really wide. So this one is narrow, it's easy to maneuver. You can still grab a lot of material with just these five tines. And so this is a great tool to have. The long handle works really well for me and for Allison. Some of the handles will be shorter and they'll have a kind of a grip handle on here. And so it kind of just depends on your height and how you want to use it. Now, this tool is great for many different things in your garden. First thing is it's great for moving like wood chip or any type of kind of denser soil. You can move it from wheelbarrows into your garden. You can move it from place to place. Um, it's great for doing that and it makes the work really easy. Another great use for this tool is to break up the soil in your garden beds. And so basically you would get it in your garden bed soil, work it around, move it around, and you can dig up and break up the soil and kind of get it fluffed up for the next season for when you're going to plant your seeds or plant new plants. Um, another great use for this tool is to actually aerate. You can stick it in your grass or in your garden bed and you just put it in and you just kind of do this a little bit and now you've got five new holes for air to move up and down through and water to move into. So it's great for using for that. So guys, one last use that we really like using this pitchfork for is for picking up debris in our garden. So pine cones, twigs, um, just different debris that you pile up, even weeds, you know, you pile them up, you rake them up. This is great for picking those up and putting them in your wheelbarrow or putting them into your yard waste container. So it's a really versatile tool, just like a lot of our other tools in our garden, but this is a must have for us. So guys, we're gonna demonstrate for you really quick how to use a pitchfork to move mulch around in your garden. Make sure to know where the tines are because they can be pointed and they can be kind of dangerous. So make sure you always know where they're pointed and where they're going be aware of who's around you for safety concerns. So just find some mulch you want to, let's say we want to take this mulch and we want to move it over there. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to stick it in, get it in there. See how that just brings up a sheet of it. Isn't that cool? And then we can just throw it over and we can just keep going and see how easy the tines make it to get into the material. And then you can just lift it up and move it. And that's it. It's really easy to use and it makes it really easy to work with. And then we'll just, you can also, you don't want to probably use it for this, but you can also use it as a makeshift rake and kind of smooth things out a little bit if you want to. One thing I love about the pitchfork is it's super easy to handle. It's, it's especially with gloves, it makes it a lot easier to grip onto the handle and just throw your debris or pick up your mulch or whatever you need to do. So guys, with that, leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And that's a wrap for today's Garden Tool Saturday. We hope that was helpful. And if you have any more questions about pitchforks, like Sean said, please comment below and let us know. We'd love to help out. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another new project. Yep, until tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.